This question, you are asked to use positive rational exponents to simplify the expression. Since there's two terms on the inside and one on the outside, all that you're expected to do is use the Schroeder property. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to take this expression and I notice there's one term on the outside and two terms on the inside of the parentheses, so I'm going to use the Schroeder property. When I multiply the inside p to the 1 half times p to the 3 halves, what you're going to do is you're going to add exponents. And similarly, I'm going to put a minus here, I'm going to take p to the 1 half times p to the 1 half. So I'm going to multiply the first one times the first, then the first, the outside term times the second. And I'm going to use the fact that if we have a to the n times a to the m, we've learned long ago that we add these exponents. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add the exponents. We have the same base, so that would be 1 half plus 3 halves is 4 halves. And then 1 half plus 1 half is 2 halves which, by the way, is the same thing as p squared minus p. And that is the answer. They ask you to simplify your answer. We did. Uh, use positive exponents only, and our exponents are all positive, and they do not want us to factor. So p squared minus p is the answer to this question. Uh, the reason, by the way, they say all variables are positive, because if you had a negative variable, um, when you have something to an even index, like p to the one-half, that's like the square root of p, and uh, that would be um, a non-real number. 